Hello and welcome to this PICO training video. In this video we will review the theory of operation for the relay board on a gas reduced oil volume fryer. Not all relay boards will look the same. Some will have more or less connections for single and split pot applications as well as for manual and computer driven filtration. The layout of the relay board is fairly simple and closely resembles the typical solstice relay board with a few additional components. 24 volt DC connections from the power supply. The element assembly tilt switch used only on electric units and has a jumper for gas units. The side on relay. The heat demand relay the self-cleaning burner relay, the left drain valve relay, the right drain valve relay, the pump run relay, the left return valve relay, the right return valve relay, and the pump divert valve relay low jib and or filter soon indicators if equipped. Your comlink connection and the oil level probe. Now that we know the layout of the relay board, let's look at it with all the wiring attached. There are LED lights for each of the side-on, heat demand, and self-cleaning burner relays, as well as the AC light and the relay board status light. The relays for the drains, pump, and actuators all have lights as well. There is also an ice cube style relay mounted inside the control panel. This relay is a normally open 24 volt DC relay. The black and white wires deliver 24 volts DC from the drain valve actuator when in a closed position. This closes the switch and allows the computer to sense the drain is closed via the blue and brown wire. All the actuators in the unit are 24 volt DC actuators. Each individual fryer and or fryer battery has one 24 volt DC power supply. The 24 volt DC power supply plugs in here with a red and black wire using the 5 pin Molex connector. The other 5 pin Molex connection is to jump the 24 volt DC power to the next fryer in the battery if there is one. On single fryers, this second connection point will not be used. Here you can see the wire harness that connects the 24 volt DC to each fryer in the battery. The comlink wire connects to the back of the controller and connects to this point on the relay board. The comlink wire allows the controller and the relay board to talk to each other. If the 24 volt DC is lost and or the comlink wire harness fails, the display will show comlink failure if any of the functions are requested of the filtration system. The fryer will still heat, timers will still function, however you will not be able to filter and or drain the oil until the problem is resolved. This part of the relay board wiring is very similar to our standard Solstice Fryer relay board. First, you have a 5 pin connection with a white and blue wire. This is your 24 volt AC from the transformer in the entrance box at the rear of the unit. Next is a 6 pin connector. This is for your side on, heat demand, and heat feedback signals. Next is a 7 pin connector. This is for the left and right basket lift if equipped as well as the drain valve interlock switch. Next is a 12 pin connector that will only have a blue wire jumper attached. Wire is connected at terminals 2 and 10 on the jumper. Next is a 10 pin connector. This is the connection between the relay board and the controller. The next connection is a 4 pin connector. This is for the rollout switch and the 24 volt solenoid valve for the self cleaning burner function. Next is an 8 pin connector. This is for the return valves, the divert valve, and the pump. 
Next is another four pin connection. This is for the drain valve actuators. On split pot units, most of these connections will be duplicated on the right side of the relay board. The oil level probe is connected with a five pin connector. There is another five pin connector on the relay board which the oil level probe fits. However, nothing should ever be plugged into this center five pin connection. Plugging the oil level probe into the wrong connection will not damage the board or the probe. It will only cause the oil top off feature to not operate correctly. There are two flashing lights on the relay board. One is green, the other is red. The green light is the status indicator for the filter system. The light will flash one to four times repeatedly depending on the status of the system. All green status lights for all relay boards in a battery unit should flash the same code. The red status light is for the oil level probe. If a single pot unit, it flashes one two digit code. If a split pot unit, the light flashes the left side oil level probe code and then flashes the right side oil level probe code. The light will flash slowly for the first digit and quickly for the second digit. This example is flashing 24, two slow flashes followed by four quick flashes. This two pin terminal is to connect the element tilt switch on electric units. For gas units it is jumped as seen here with a yellow wire. This six pin connector is used for the oil flush hose and manual return valve if equipped on your unit. Thank you for watching this PICO video. For more information, please visit us at www.pico.com or call us at 603-225-6684. As well, more ROV troubleshooting videos will be available on our YouTube channel.